let's start by removing the eight screws on the bottom of the laptop using a T5 bit. Always double check that the laptop is completely shut down before disassembly. Next, I'll use a plastic pry tool to carefully detach the bottom case from the palm rest. I highly recommend using a plastic tool on the metal bodies to prevent scratches. I encountered some minor issues with the internal clips on the rear side of the bottom case, but overall the process was straightforward. To make it easier, I always use my fingers to assist in detaching the case. This gives me a better sense of how much force I needed to avoid damaging any clips. Once the bottom case is removed, we get a clear view of the internal components. The battery is connected via a simple snap-on connector that can be easily pulled out to disconnect it. To replace the battery, you'll need to remove six Phillips screws. Unfortunately, almost everything except the storage is soldered to the motherboard. There is only a single SSD slot which can be easily replaced or upgraded. However, Wi-Fi card, RAM, and external connectors are soldered, meaning if any of them fail, the repair will be expensive. If you are replacing the cooling system, make sure to reapply thermal paste and thermal pads to prevent potential overheating. Overall, I'm pretty disappointed with the internal design. Dell does not provide many repair or upgrade options, which limit users' flexibility. That's all for today. Love and peace to everyone.